Hi Dan, welcome to Turkey. I'm finally starting this video here in the elevator. We are heading to breakfast this morning. We are here only for a couple of days and we've actually done a lot of things. Um, I believe this is their level. And, and I just really haven't been able to vlog, I guess. Like I've kind of been a little overwhelmed. There's so much to do and see. And that's kind of what we've been doing. So we're just heading to breakfast now and I'm going to fill you in with all the things that we've been doing and all the places we've visited so far here in Istanbul. And let's do that. This is the breakfast station. I'm just gonna get my mug and make some coffee. Um, just make a cappuccino. And what do we have today? We have sausage. I don't know what that is. It's like vegetables. And then lots of cheese, very Turkish. That and the and just enjoying my cup of coffee. Um, this is actually where we have breakfast out on the deck and they have um, breakfast included if you are a guest here. Well, let's rewind actually. There's a lot to share. We came to Istanbul and we've been here for three days and I haven't really been able to record much because there's just been a lot that's happened and it's just a very busy city. We're in the motherland so it's been it's been very like nostalgic to kind of be back. I met my family here, they flew in from Australia so I've just kind of really been enjoying the time with them. And, and yeah, and we've kind of done a couple of things. We went on, we went on the ferry, which goes from across the Bosphorus, um, and it crosses from two continents, from Europe to Asia. We're staying on the European side, and we're actually staying at the Conrad. So I'm actually going to give you a bit of a hotel tour if you're looking for places to stay here in Istanbul. Highly recommend. I've also done the Four Seasons here, which is incredible i think actually if i was to give you a recommendation i would recommend four seasons the price is obviously a lot higher than the conrad but if you can do that i would recommend that because it's right on the bosphorus water and it's just beautiful it's stunning but the conrad is really nice too so i'll give you a bit of a hotel tour um other than that we crossed the water with the ferry which i recommend you can do a bosphorus tour which is really nice and just the views i'll insert footage here of that and we went to see some family out on the Asian side, which was really nice. And yeah, it's just kind of great to see family, right? So that was really nice. And I've just kind of really been taking it all in, taking in the lovely weather, the amazing food, and yeah, just like being around family. So that's kind of what we've done. We've also been to where the Blue Mosque is, which is a very touristy area. Again, I'll insert footage of that. We went to, well, we tried to find the Cup of the Chasha, which is the Grand Bazaar, and it was extremely overcrowded, which we <laughs> could not find. I've been there personally. I've been to Istanbul many times before, so I have already done that, but I did want to go and get like some like jewelry and like gold and all that, and that just didn't happen. We ended up finding another market. We found the Mesut Chasha, which is the Egyptian market. So there's a lot of spices, a lot of Turkish delights, lots of sweets. We picked up some Turkish delight, which is great. Uh, lots of like nuts and like, yeah, there's a lot of um, things that you would get at the Kapal Chosha there as well. So we did that and that was that was nice. So there's been a couple of things we've done. We've been eating a lot of dinner and 
dips and drinking a lot of tea, so you know how it is. I just ordered another tea and we're gonna get started with our day and we'll take it from there. Here we have some traditional Turkish coffee and obviously the tradition is that it has to come with water because it's a very strong coffee and then a sweet on the side. And then here they've given us some Turkish delight which is actually called lokom. So let's enjoy. If you have a specific room where you have access to executive lounge, this is where we had breakfast. But if you want to have breakfast elsewhere and it's um, paid for, well, it's not included in the room, but you have to pay initially for This is where you'd have breakfast, um, lunch and dinner at the restaurant. And then this kind of leads down to the lobby. You can imagine they put a huge, beautiful Christmas tree during the season. And then here is the way to the elevator, so it's very grand. Um, and yeah, this is it. Love the details. Very Turkish Ottoman details. Love it. And it's great. To show you breakfast, my OOTD for breakfast, this is what I wore. I wore this beautiful little blouse top, which I think is just so cute. I love the details. It really reminds me of the hotel in Beverly Hills. Um, this is kind of like their print with the palm tree and this also this exact green It really reminds me of that, but I think it's very sweet It has these beautiful kind of like bell sleeves and then a little bow here And I think it's a very flattering Length you can wear it with like white trousers or like like I did here with just like white linen shorts I think it's like great for like you know an easy holiday look and this is what i wore for breakfast and i've got these linen shorts from these are from and other stories love them they have pockets and this top is it's kate spade and for shoes i just wore my hermes sandals i also packed the white ones um they're just great vacation sandals and obviously for summer and overall shoe so i'm going to change and we're going to head over to ortico which is a different sort of neighborhood and there's a beautiful mosque there and i'll show you all around i think it's stunning so let's do that i wanted to show you our view from our room we're in the king executive room and with the bosphorus view and this is our incredible view so you can see the bosphorus water you can see sultan ahmed mosque there the blue mosque and the Galata Tower is there in the distance <laughs> somewhere. And that's our beautiful view from our room. So I'm going to show you my outfit and then we're out. Okay. Outfit of the day here in Istanbul. I'm wearing this gorgeous dress, linen. It's super breezy, super easy. It has these beautiful polka dots on them. I'm wearing my Dior saddlebag. And um, Hermes orange sandals. This is the look. Let's see if the lighting's a little better in here. Not really, but this is the look. Okay, so let's head out another day here in Istanbul. Let's go enjoy. For that, the gym, the pool, the hairdresser, the spa is on. So you walk through this hallway and then you have the salon here. Here is the gym. Is where you walk through it's like this long hallway and then the indoor pool is through here which I'll just quickly show you I believe there's a spa in here as well it's very heated it feels very warm in there and then to go upstairs you take this spiral staircase which it's giving me very very, I would say, grease vibes, which I love. So let's take the stairs up. Take the stairs all the way up. This is the way to the tennis court as well. And then here's the pool. We have a bar over there. Absolutely love is this archway. I think it's stunning. It leads you over here to the tennis courts. I believe this over here is an event space. 
maybe like to do weddings. I think that ideally for me this sounds like a great idea to have a wedding up on this little rooftop here with this incredible view but I'm pretty sure it's an event space um, if there was like a corporate event or like a wedding or something like that because it's like completely empty here but if you just continue walking you get to the tennis courts and I'll show you I actually had plans to play but you know how it is it's just like so you get caught up in so much and like you just get so busy but this is the beautiful tennis court it's red clay which is what I'm used to I also play with the red clay so that is the court it's a red clay court right directly under the sun there's also another one back there but that is it this is the view back to the pool this is the lobby and that's basically it you check in here you've got your coffee lounge and let me tell you how beautiful it is let me turn and you can see the beautiful mosque on the Bosch right there near the bridge it is stunning and it's such a lovely day today there's all these little markets around here that you can buy jewelry souvenirs all of that mum picked up a sun hat and I just probably recommend negotiating with them and speaking Turkish if you can because you're gonna get a lower price but Nevertheless, it's always a lot cheaper, but this is just beautiful. I also have like a lot of cafes, lunch spots, all of that. I'm just going to show you the mosque now. It's just stunning. It's just stunning and there's the Bosphorus Bridge. It looks like a ferry is pulling up. It must be like a tour, but it is so beautiful. The water is like crystal blue. Well, not crystal blue, but you can even see the seaweed. It's so beautiful. We just left Ortaköy, which was beautiful. It's full of tourists, so I recommend going early if you can. And there is a lot of places to eat. There's kumpish um, to get like potatoes, which is like kind of like a traditional meal. Um, and you kind of like fill up the potato with whatever you want, like um, olives, cheese, corn. It's like it's definitely a cultural um, cultural food. I would say. So we're heading to Bebek side um, or over there we'll probably get some lunch. Bebek side is another little area, little neighborhood, and it's by the beach, so that would be super pretty over there. So we'll see you there. I think it's so sweet, it's very European and we're walking to the water now which is down there very cute view from the restaurant which is just so pretty stunning here is our view. It is so pretty. Schnitzel, we got some fries and salad. And that is some sort of kebab. And this is the nachos, which is hilarious because I've never seen nachos like this, but I guess it's something different. And this is our view. So stunning. We are in Fendi in Istanbul. And I walked in and 
and I found the bag that I've been looking for all over New York City and basically couldn't even order it in anywhere in the US because it's completely sold out worldwide. So I got lucky here, which I saw it straight away and I was like, wrap it up right now. I'm taking it. So I'm so excited. Definitely film an unboxing for that. But yeah, this is also very cute. Summary. They have a big selection here, which is very impressive. Highly recommend. So in the Istanbul store, they have the gold and the beautiful pink. And they also have the gold. Well, they have a huge collection of Prada bucket hats and I love the denim, huge collection. I don't know if I like the kind of just sitting there. Bega is huge and I think it's like so appropriate for the beach. I love it. Okay, we're back at the hotel and we had such a successful little day. It was really cute. Went and had lunch in Bebek. It was really nice. Went to Ortico. It was absolutely beautiful. Very relaxing and very scenic day. Um, absolutely loved it. And then from there we went to Zorulu shopping center which has all the designer stores and like beautiful restaurants upstairs and you saw me in Fendi you saw me in Fendi and I cannot believe what I found um, I'm gonna film an unboxing probably when I get to Greece but it is an incredible handbag that is part of the new collection and it has been sold out everywhere in the US in particular I've been searching they were going to order it for me from Italy but it was sold out in Italy and it's just been completely sold out it's I think they got like three in the US that's it and it's just completely been sold out so it's been absolutely impossible to get um, so yeah as soon as I walked into Fendi I saw it hanging right at the door um, as you walk in and I said wrap it up I'm taking it that's it um, I think I walked in with my jaw completely open um, the guy that was um, assisting me was probably like uh, is it really that hyped but I was you know I was so excited and um, he was like that's like the perfect New York City bag so it's I don't know when, once you see it you'll know so today is a good day who said Istanbul's not great so I just also want to say I went into Prada they had these amazing handbags I had a bucket hat that's denim which I have not seen they have a lot of stock so if you're looking to do designer shopping or luxury shopping in Istanbul I highly recommend it another thing is you get your taxes back so have a picture of your passport and then you can claim your VAT back at the airport which is great and also the prices are European prices so I got this bag for a lot cheaper than what I would have bought would have what I would have paid if I bought this in the US so highly recommend um, shopping in Istanbul so that is my little story time for today but we got some lunch having it by the pool just having a club sandwich with some fries this is the view probably until we go to dinner tonight and I also want to go to the rooftop okay bye tonight's outfit in Istanbul for the last night here we're heading to dinner at the restaurant and this is what I'm wearing I'm wearing this top whenever I wear this top I get questions about where it's from and it's literally about ten dollars I'll link it down below if you're interested but I love to pack this on vacation because I can easily just wear it as a cover-up at the pool the beach or like even just like going out it's super easy over jeans or like shorts or skirts or is there anything like that I'm wearing it with jeans tonight it's a little windy and then with my green Bodega bag and the shoe of the night is these sparkly Manolos. I have them in the meal, so this is what I'm wearing today. Love. This is the full look. Let's go. Good morning, our last day in Istanbul, and we're in the car. We are headed to 
to the airport and we're on to the next country, the next journey of our European adventure. We're going to Greece. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe. If you are interested in a place to stay, I definitely recommend the Conrad here in Istanbul. It's beautiful. The facilities are good. Yes, the facilities definitely are good. I love the pool. The pool gets amazing sun and no one's fighting over the chairs, which is great. So I'll see you in my next video and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Nahal Bye.